Let's see. Alrighty then. So it looks like we're live. Let me just set up my camera so I can see comments. So I wanted to come on a little minute early just to get our get it situated. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Amber Winnemore. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I was inspired by another stamper. She decided to turn this awesome little pumpkin kit into baskets which I did for Thanksgiving. How cool is that? So we'll just do a little bit of things. Just so you know, right now we are rocking. If you join my team, you can get a $75 kit and get it for $125 worth of products with free shipping all through the month of November. Super cool. Now on top of that, we have our seasonal sale, which is going to be 10% off of cardstock dyes and inks and possibly a little bit more but I'm not sure exactly I haven't exactly did it so let me I want to give this person the proper name hold on one second because this is not my idea she did photography of it and I thought this would be a great video Beth Chris from Stampin' Up, one of my paper pumpkin groups that I'm part of, came up with this awesome idea. So, how many of you did not like this kit? Or struggled with putting the pumpkins together? All of the above. Well, I actually went and got a refill kit because I seen this and I thought it was fabulous and I've been digging 3D projects. Love them. Not only do I get the cute box, you can make the traditional apples or pumpkins. I even made a turkey, you know. But what I'm going to actually show you how to do is transform your little pumpkin. Let's see if I can do this. Into this cute little basket. And these are going to be little party favors for my Thanksgiving party at my work. And I thought they were absolutely adorable. And super simple to make and you're basically using everything in your kit I did add in some adhesive I brought in evening evergreen um, the gammon ribbon and the gems so I actually hi Tammy so I actually saved one whole one just so I could actually do this and show you exactly how I went about doing it. It's so super easy. I'm like, why didn't I think about it myself? <laughs> Alright, so you got your typical one. Now I'm going to want this orange one right here. So the first thing I'm going to do, you see these little tabs? We're cutting them off. We're going. Bye bye. Look at that. Oh, good. Don't need them. Alright, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do all the scores. You can use your bone folder, or you can do it with your hands, whichever is handy. I started doing it with my bone folder, and because it wasn't going quick enough for me, I started doing it with my hands. <laughs> so, all I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here. And I'm going to sit there and burnish all those score lines. Trying to make this as fast as possible. Cause I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me do this. Alright, as simple as that. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fold these down right 
down in half. Like so. So simple. I'm telling you, so easy. So we're going to flip it to the side that we want to show, and I want the orange to show. And we came with our 3M little sticky tape. And you're going to put them just like the instruction says. Same way. And you do this however the easiest way for you that you want. Use scissors, take a pick tool, whatever. I had a blast making all these today, and I am going to have to go get my little box in the fridge because it's a little warm in my apartment. I want the chocolate to melt. So I usually do treat boxes with something other than chocolate just because of, I'm afraid it's going to melt like that. But now you're going to want to make sure they stick down pretty good. That's the trick with these. Because then you're just going to sit there, and we're going to peel them off. It's basically a really cool double-sided tape. I usually sit there and do this over a garbage can. Try to keep my mess a little controlled. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to want to line it up. And the way you're going to line it up is you're going to make these lines match. I give it a nice firm push. And the heat from my fingers actually helps cure the adhesive, which is really cool. And I'm going to take these and just bend them down. And my trick with these is, after doing a bazillion of them, is matching up my corners best I can. Now I am going to fold these out. I'm going to take my bone folder, I'm going to take the back of it, and I'm just going to push these down. You can push them down with your fingers, whatever works for you. I'm just trying to make sure that sticky part really stays with it okay so these are all extra and I've tried all different kinds of adhesive I've tried our tape runner I've tried these I've tried Tombow glue I've tried tape or er, glue dots I wanted to see what the best one was but right now alright so first things first this is the back of yours this is what you want in the back so, these are the ones, so you're going to want these two right here, and what I take is a basic hole punch, I go right down the middle as far as it'll go, and if, if it's not exactly down the middle that's okay because it doesn't really matter. So I'm actually going to use my extra long lines of adhesive for some of this because I don't like to waste anything especially not adhesive I go through a lot of adhesive I don't know about everybody else but I go through a lot but basically you want a strong adhesive tear and tape you name it be good I actually ran out of stamp and steel plus which actually made me kind of sad Means I have to order some. So I'm going to just peel those off. And there we go. And 
then I'm gonna fold them in and pinch and they'll stick to the sides and you want to try to make them so they're nice and even so you get a nice border I already see the little basket forming. I told you this was an easy, easy project. All right. So for this one, I'm gonna actually use two more of these. Ooh. So. Like so. <laughs> and I'm going to take my stamp and seal because I really want this to really stick. This is where it's really, really important. So whatever you do, you want adhesive down here and up here. You want it as Cover it as you possibly can get it. So all I'm doing is taking those little pieces of paper off that has extra adhesive I stuck on there. And ours come with these lovely little twigs that we used as vines. All I did was oval it out, bend it because you can shape it after. And I stuck one through the hole. I go down to the bottom, slide it down. I'm holding it and I'm pinching this and I really, really, really need this to stay. So this is actually important. So you hold it Make sure some of that adhesive starts to really stick and cure. And then you take the other side and you stick it in. I stick it all the way down to the bottom. So it's sitting on the bottom because you're not going to see it. And there's your cute little basket. Look at this. Now my favorite part, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get the chocolate. I got these awesome chocolates, little fall chocolates at Walmart, half price. So awesome. Then we'll fill it up, and that weight's going to put it down, and it'll hold it. And then I have two of these lovely little leaves right here. And so we're going to go like this, and I'm going to take my snips, and I'm going to curl the edges of these leaves that we get from our paper pumpkin, like so. I'm going to do that. And if you notice, I not only stamped the vine or the veins through the leaves with evening evergreen, and then I took the sponge dabber and just did some coloring, some brushing to give it a different color part of the leaf. So it had different color variants. Like a real leaf that falls off a tree. All right, so I'm going to pull out these little dots. Like I said, I'm trying to use all this fun stuff that, you know, came with my kit. Let's see. Maybe. That didn't work out so good. Like so. Well. Having technical difficulties with these. Probably need to change my putty too. It's probably not helping. Alright. So. 
so all I'm doing is going like this to make a little crisscross pattern. This is really up to you. Then I'm going to sit here. I took glue dots because I think it's a little bit easier because they're on the roll. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick two on the back. Nothing fancy. Like so. And I think I need to... many as you think would need to hold. See, I think I'm having problems with the one. There we go. And all I did was pinch it and curl it up here. So it made like a little wishing well kind of cover, which is kind of cute in itself too. So I have this bumblebee gammon ribbon that I'm going to be using and I tied them all in bows already. Because when I do paper pumpkins or any mass producing, I tend to do steps. That's my way of doing it. So I'm just going to take a lovely piece of a glue dot, stick it on, and then position it how I want. Look how cute that is, even with the other. It's just cute. And then, I'll show you what I did with my tag. I used the tags that came with it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you're a blessing. Okay? Move my little cute basket idea. And I'm going to do it in evening evergreen. Thanks, Tammy. Now I'm going to take my soft succulent. And I really love this little stamp that they have from our actual paper pumpkin. Not sure what to call it, but I like the effect that it does. So I'm using soft succulent, but it's a little too much because it's going to be a background stamp. So I'm going to stamp off. And then I'm going to stamp on. Stamp off. Stamp on, and then if you want, you can sit there and give it a little bit of color. And that's how I did that. Because I didn't like just the plain white bow. Wasn't my thing. Alright. So we're going to sit here. And, see this? I'm cutting it off. I don't want it. <laughs> I just wanted that white piece of paper. I'm going to get some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to stick this up here. And I'm going to use two on this. You can use one. You can get away with one. It's up to you. So, I'm going to take these off. Literally, this is it. And I am going to place it right below my bow and I'm still going to give it a nice squeeze because I don't want anything moving I'm going to reposition make sure we're all good look at how cute wouldn't this be awesome on a Thanksgiving table in front of people with names or just whatever I don't care but yeah and I also am going to add because my in color ones are right here I'm going to take one of the soft succulent right here, just to make it different. And I stuck one on, just to give it a little bit of bling. But that is a simple alternative that you can do to those paper pumpkins from September, especially if you didn't like those, or you have it lying around because you didn't like the pumpkins, or just didn't have anybody give it to you. This would be great for a party favor. As my camera flies. Sorry about that. 
Thank you for watching my quick little video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And remember, you can get your refills if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. I am having a difficult time with my camera. Hmm. You can get it at my store, amberwoodamore.stampinop.net. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys later. Bye.